Hello and welcome back, future friends and family. This is another episode of, of another Let's Play, actually, of, <laughs> of uh, Remember Me. I forgot Remember Me. What do you know? Um, so I realized I cut off the last episode a little abruptly. So this is actually the second half of episode zero. And, uh... Nilan, are you okay? No, I need to get out of here. Get me out of here now. Calm down. My name is Edge. You have to you trust me. You think you know me. You think you know me. I just did, bro, and now I am trapped in a coffin. <sighs> I must prepare you for what is waiting outside. That, that thing the in the back of her neck memorized. is actually very a distracting. That has digitized and commoditized memories. They call it Sen Sen technology, and the world is addicted to it. You follow. Yes. You were a memory hunter, Nilla. The best. Other hunters merely pillage memories, but you can remix them. And above all, you are an errorist, just like me. Why did they do this to me? You were a revolutionary fighter and my best agent. We all fought to assure that no firm might build a monopoly on all human memories. But I failed. We were rounded up and imprisoned. <sighs> Oh, this is all very interesting, but I really have to get out of this coffin now. The currents are going to take you to slum 404. So Once you've landed, 404. I'll tell you my plan. I get the feeling this is going to be a, a, a perpetual joke with the first chapter being reboot, and this is 404. There's the title. So this is episode one, low life, low tech. We'll see, you know, in our techie world, it's kind of an interesting aspect. Again, there's that train, guys. Sorry if you're hearing it. Some 404. Cannot be found. Poor request. Is it bad request? 404? Yeah, you can probably hear the rumbling a little bit. I'm going to try and talk over it. And it's... It's a Gollum family reunion. Listen, Johnny is crying. Uh. Precious. Where's that precious? Class of these. Pain is shared now. Feelings lost now. A new us. Tears and grins. Lost. Look! A new us. Pain is shared now. Dark is lost. They're almost kind of endearing, you know, for degenerate psychos. Just bad run of luck, actually. Woman. Tears and grins. Sister, meat. How about oh, friend? Meat. Uh, they wants to eat you. We eat starbitters. I'm not part of your tribe. Is that it? Okay. Well, here we go, guys. This is the uh, the combat aspect. Dodge. I don't want to fight you. She's actually a very nimble little minx there. Have to, Neil, and these guys will kill you. Use your presence. Ow. She hit me. Okay, so this is the I'm gonna leave this part in just so you guys can see what the thing. It's a build your own combo system. So uh with this one, you get to kind of unlock what do you call they call presence, and that'll let you validate additional combos. And you only unlock a certain number of them per unit. So right now I just made a three chain combo. 
and you can only you can't unload you can't fix the first one but you can always sec adjust so if i wanted to download the grant line unlock triangle in mid-combat i could change one of those out and maybe do a different move or something like that but that's all we really wanted to do there now i can actually hit people Ooh. and it's very batman -y because i can kind of see what's going on right there i hit a I, pro I, I provided a good combo and I, as long as I don't get hit and I stay on combo, then I can still maintain my combo and it helps my meter. And that will unlock more presence and that will level up. It's a very interesting system and it's it's not weird to see that it came from Comcast. American cast. Miserable cast -offs left Capcom. In the depths of Neo Paris. So. Miserable. Monstrous, more like. They are the abandoned children of our Sen Sen age. Simply humans like you or I, but cast as shadows of our shame. Something we are meant to fear. Another justification for the errorist cause. Yeah. So, incoming from Capcom, this is kind of an intrigue. Like, the ability to build your own fighting system for, camp, for this is, uh, is, it seems like it, it fit well with them. So I'm, I'm glad they did it, because if anyone can do it right, it's going to be them. And here we have a little health thing. We Again, it did showed me up top what that was for. A little hatching little system. Again, it's like Google Goggles. Uh, okay, you need to get out of here. Go find Headache Tommy. I told him you were back in the game. Who? He runs a bar at the top of Slum 404. Start by climbing out of this dump, and I'll give you directions as and when. Yeah. This is always a pain in the I hate when I get interrupted because it just it stops the motion of the game. But I, I platforming is my expertise. This is my area. I'm a big fan of, of Assassin's Creed and Prince of Persia and and Soul Reaver. Those are my games. Those are the games I kind of grew up playing and loving. So the fact that it's a platformer does actually uh, fill me with a light of thing. And there's a it's a simple platformer so far. It hasn't you know it's not one, probably not one of those super super complicated ones. Um, I'm sure, they probably hiding stuff around here. This is a platformer in that aspect. Creepy masks. Ooh, go, 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 go. Well, I found my way to the leaper layer. Okay, those were those, those, were, those weren't golems, those Edge. were leapers. Same who difference. Who is this Tommy guy? Tommy was your closest friend. A former memory hunter who's still faithful to our cause. His bar is in a cargo hull over the canal locks in slum 404. The leaking brain. You can't miss it. Leaking brain. Sounds like a horrible bender. Well, it looks like one way, but being as I am who I am, yep. So, collectibles. I am not doing a collectible guide, guys, so I may miss them. It, it's just going to happen. I, it's, That's a lot of work, and I just don't have the strength. Because I, I realized a while ago, the fun in, in gaming uh, gets lost in trophy hunting sometimes. When you trophy or achievement hunt, there are some people who really thrive off of it. I'm not one of those people. If in me, it just it deviates me too far from the from the main story and it irks me if it's in my way obviously i'm gonna pick them up if it's a minor deviation i'm gonna pick them up but i don't expect this to be a, a guide on how to pick up all of these things it just Boots, i just don't day at the leaking brain today's specials crunchy crab cake a la tommy and sewer shrimps in slum sauce is it recycled food that's a judge joke these things everywhere everywhere. Damn, viral marketing. Get out of my face. Oh, there's these things. Um, which are kind of tips from your friends to help you out, which you're going to find. Um, I, rem I played this one a little bit, so I, I remember where that was. And it's... They're helpful, obviously. Those are good things to find, because those are going to help you up your your life bar and things like that. Uh, down the line, I'm sure they'll have they'll have other other things that you can up. Pretty simple stuff. Oh, looky! I've been jumped. So, this is another one of those combo ones. So I'm gonna leave this one in here too. Um, 
So you don't have to fill up the bar. So if I do this and that and then that, I can create a mini re and this one's a regen system. So if I start triangle square triangle, I can regen um oops. So I hit This is just the pure might one. Ooh. But if I do this one, then oh, I didn't line it up tight enough time. Whee! Nope, no hitting me. And I can regen and health that one. But I obviously won't do as much damage as this. I like how they got the little sensor bars on above them, so... Ow! You bastard! Dying of fire! Sometimes it's, it's better just to clear off the, uh, the rabble rousers before you can get a chance to... Because you'll never get a chance to finish your assaults if they uh, keep interrupting them with... Uh, At least, you need to at least start a three combo before you can do it, otherwise it won't work. So if I doot, doot. This might actually help me with fighting game Friday. Tune in every Friday for that. Me and uh, Joshua are really having a lot of fun just, you know, seeing what people are suggesting. And I, I want you guys to suggest most things. I, we're only The only thing we're having trouble with is obviously Nintendo, but... Eh, whatever. You know what, I think it's getting to the point where we don't really... We're not going to harbor too much on that one. We'll find what we can. A fighting game's a fighting game. But, uh, yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and do this as a chapter system, just so you guys are aware. So, fortunately, I don't know how long some of these chapters are. So hopefully I can get them all squeezed in. Yeah. In the time frame given. So like right now, I'm about about 12 minutes in. Um, if these start being, you know, 30 minute. Ah, God, I'm gonna fall. Uh, ooh, what is that? Is that something shiny. That is something shiny. Um, yeah, I'm gonna back up a little bit and go get that. Cause, uh, oh, oh, I went way far back because I fell. But um, yeah, so don't do that. Let's, let's call that a tip. And it just died. That was my fault. No one else's. I hit the wrong button. Okay. So they're giving you kind of a hit, a tip here, which is always nice. They give you tips in the loading screen. It makes the loading screens less painful. But I may cut those tips out, so, because no one cares. It's a good game. Uh, she's a fairly strong character. She's not overly, you know, like, I, my big complaint right now is with the, um... Oh yeah, these are, like, collectibles for this. I think they're just artwork and stuff like that. They aren't really very clear on what the heck they are, but... Um, I think they're just artwork. Um, yeah, she's a very strong character so far. She doesn't seem to have... You know, she's, she's in a vulnerable place right now, but she's not in a point where she has to have a lot of strength. Like, my big problem with uh, the latest Tomb Raider is it just doesn't feel like she's the same super strong Laura Croft character that we've always, you know, had. She, this, this character seems a lot... Get off my lane. Yes, we do that joke a lot here. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, unlocked a new combo. So now I can unlock a new system. And that can go into... Actually, it's weird, because it's a damage one, but I can actually hide it inside of my regen one. So I can do a little bit extra damage in that one. And later on, I think I can rearrange these, so I can always add that. 
Uh, another one of those little looker things. I uh, kind of remember where it is. It's over here. Um, there it is. So if I can get all those today and get keep my health up. Um, yeah, there's a pole here, and I remember there being yeah. See, there's a thing that tells me to go down, but it's not very clear on how to get down, and there's no swing. So if you guys know how to get down there, let me know. I mean, maybe I'll go back and play through it again. I uh, probably won't record it, but I'll play through it because it's, it's a game. I want to be, I want to have fun. Um, this gives us a chance to kind of talk, guys. I haven't done a chance to talk to you. Uh, we're watching this. So what do you guys want to see in the channel? You know, we'll, we'll try and add as much as we can to. Don't stop it! Don't get in my way. Get off of me! It, yeah, I think I'd say the same thing. So, I mean, what do you want to see on the channel? You want to see more Let's Plays like this? You want us to do more things like Fighting Game Friday, where mostly multiplayer aspects? Um, just quick short videos? You want long videos like this? What are we looking at? Uh, I want to hear feedback, because the whole point of this channel was to have a community-based system and actually listen to what people have to say. Because I think there's a little bit too much isolation in a lot of gaming, especially when you do this kind of online gaming. There's there's a lot of isolation, and you don't get a chance to really talk to the people. Um, this is this is them just mugging civilians. It's nothing really important. Um, but uh, I want to hear. Oh, hello. It's a behemoth. Rawr. For some reason, wearing mo motorcycle pants. I don't really understand that one, but sure. Again, I'm not going to trophy hunt. I, I did look at the trophies, and I think there's a trophy for beating this guy um, under certain conditions, but I'm not going to worry too much on it. So the, the the combat is, is weird in this system because they will block you quite a lot, but if you can break through, then you can strike your combat. So you've got to kind of be careful until you trigger the combat for him. Oh yeah, here Skinners are stronger with the leapers around. So I can either I think the trophy, if I remember correctly, is to you know beat him without destroying any of his things. But oh, there's the train again. But it's it's damn near impossible, and I really don't have the patience for it. So I'm gonna. So I'm sorry, guys, if you can hear that train. If you can't hear it, good. Then that means uh, my microphone is doing its job. If you guys are curious, I'm, we're using an 1820 an 20 for the plays uh, here. Uh, good microphone. If you got the m money is definitely worth it uh, if you don't have the money um, just do what you got to do it's you know I'm sure people will be as long as you can put out a funny or an entertaining product I think most people will generally be pretty forgiving of anything you uh, you put out there so I want to invite anyone to, to try this out and try putting the let's plays and things along those lines they're fun they're interesting and I think you know there's more people who, you know who can bring something to it everyone can bring something to this this genre of entertainment. This guy won't leave me alone. I'm trying to, trying to beat up his friend and he's uh, intercepting me. There we go. So now I now that I broke his thing. Ow. I was still breaking through to him, but it was just, it takes a little longer when, attacking citizens. when you Leapers do it that way. I don't know. Right. It's an interesting I system. The Come combat's on, not not as fluid as Batman, let's let's be honest. I don't think anyone could kind of do it as well as, as the Batman games have. Speaking of Batman games, 
Uh, if you have this happen tuning into E3, which is happening the week I'm recording this, hopefully I'm, this is up the same week. Um, Batman Origin looks amazing, and I need to go back and play through the other two just so I can have something to say about them. Um, because it's I, I played through half of Arkham uh, S Asylum and I almost beat it, but I, I have kind of a gaming ADD when it comes to open world games. And then I have uh, Arkham City, but I just haven't played it. I've had it for since it came out, but I just it's still in its plastic wrapper, which is kind of I think an insult to the game. It's a good game. It sh I should have played it, um, but and I will play it eventually. Uh, I don't know, maybe we'll play it on this channel and I'll play it with you guys. Um, oh, they don't show you this till later, but you can actually scroll faster by holding R1, and that'll let you um, scroll faster. And so this is from what everyone from you know you can probably pull. Is this is supposed to be Paris? Because there's your your archway, your Arc de Triomphe. Um, yeah, I speak French. Oh, oh, oh. That's not true. I barely speak English. Um, so there's the Arc de Triomphe. I haven't seen um, the Eiffel Tower yet in this. I'm sure I will eventually because it's kind of a, a monument you just you can't miss. But the floating they haven't shown it yet. Um, so it's we'll see about that. Uh, I know we're getting about 21 minutes into this one, so we'll keep trying to go through. Um, probably won't edit too much out. I might cut the loading zone, loadings down, obviously, because I don't think you guys want to see that. And Heck, I don't want to see it, but I don't have a choice in the matter. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we'll try to cut the loads. So again, like this, fish and bits, things. There's a lot of things in these signs. It's kind of cool. I, I, I like I this. this well, you're kind of mean. You don't even know what I'm looking for. Maybe I want some tripe. If I want tripe, I do not want you then, because you're a little seemingly fish, but, you know, maybe I do. You know, shut up. Don't tell me what I do and don't want. There's another one of those technology things. Um, I can't tell if you're just bored. Those are maybe headphones. Those are the new Dr. Dre's. No, there's a thing over here. There was a little sim pa stim patch showing you, but I kind of ignored it. Why would you offer me a grenade? You sell food. Why would you... Ugh. Sometimes I worry about the audio cues. They just don't seem to make a lot of sense in this aspect. And the most, the, one of the things about this game that's kind of annoying is I see shiny thing, I go towards it. All these things, people have things, shiny things on the back of their neck. So it instantly, instantly makes me um, run up to them and realize they've got shiny things, but they don't really have shiny things. So, um, so it's an interesting idea as far as that. It's very weird uh, in this situation. Um, are you? Is this robot smoking? No. But she seems to be offering herself robotic prostitution. Okay, I'm just gonna take this. I don't really. I'm sure you're a lovely cybernetic organism, but not really my flavor. Thanks. On the catwalk, on the catwalk, I do my little turn on the catwalk. Wee. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that was the comedic aspect of this video. Uh, it's kind of an interesting. There's nothing much here to dig. This is kind of a downtrodden area, so there's not a lot of jokes to be made in this this situation. You know, how can you? Wee. So, what's this guy? I'm not gonna turn you in, but I'm not letting you pass. Okay, so he knows who I am, but he won't open the door. Jerk. Hey, push him. Just push him. I can't push him. Damn! I'll be able to push him. Okay, I seem to have triggered some ability I don't have yet. Oh. I 
kind of just bludgeoned him. That was bad comboing. What was I'm sorry thing? about that. That's a good sign, sister. With time, other memories will come back. Ah! Uh, oh god! No! 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 I don't want to fall. Wee! You're almost there. Follow Tommy's flying drones to his bar. How did you get that sign up so fast? Robots. Always robots. Oop, not over. Back over. Oh yeah. Now they show you how to do it. Now that there's more ledges. Give me a memory, man. Anything will do. Just need a fix. My last one. And I'll stop. A second hand cyber orgasm. Uh, I, ah I got no no no. Nice short cut, Edge. It's not her fault his fault you fell. My platformer instinct always tell me I'm missing. Oh God! Well, that was absolute bollocks. Uh, <laughs> I do find it disconcerting that you can't swing on the bars. That just like seems like platformer 101 to me. So to not have that ability just doesn't work for me. Oh no no no. This happens a lot in games nowadays. You, you, you think you're doing fine doing your platforming, and all of a sudden they will throw a scripted event into your into the middle of it, and you're like, "Oh, well, that sucks." Well, no going back. Do, 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 do. Oh, nope, nope. Actually, I know. This was another thing I, I saw during my first playthrough. There we are. I, I'm sure these are part of a, of a trophy or something along those lines, but I'm not going to be bothered to do it. Uh, if I stumble across it, sure, but whatever. No, oh, there's more. Is that Notre, da Notre Dame in the background? Maybe? I'm sorry, my ex my uh, knowledge of France is like all Americans. We know they have cheese and wine, and that's about well, we as much as we know about them. So, <laughs> I apologize to all the French people. I just insulted. Uh, but you guys can make fun of us Americans. It's a pretty easy target. Okay, so let's try to. I think we're getting near the end of this chapter, if I remember correctly from the last bit. Um, just a little more story to go, and one of my, one of the parts I think this game will make a, what, what I think it will make this car, this game a real sleeper hit. Um, so we're gonna get to that part, and, ooh, look shiny. Okay, so there's Headache Tommy, but I saw shiny that I want. Shiny! And there goes one up to my health bar. So yeah, if you guys followed my uh, locations, you get a extra health bar out of one of these things. These people really don't acknowledge you, which is, I don't know, it's in today's, you know, they should at least look at you nowadays. Pretty, but you're not my style. I'm going to push you in the thing back there. Okay, so here we go, guys. A little bit of cutscene here. Someone gave Johnny my name. Johnny wants my heart for Christmas. You know, you know that, huh, Tommy? He's safe here, Bob. I have I'm noticed sweating. that there are some audio cuts in here that are not right, and it's a little... Eh. Did it. <laughs> it makes me wonder about some of the playtesting. Nealon, it seems like a lifetime. I keep wanting I'm to sorry. call her Nilla Wafer. I have no memory of you. You really can't remember this pretty boy face of mine? Haha, -ha, I see what you did there. Well, well, we all lost bits and pieces in the war. But you're free, sweetheart. That's what counts. I guess. Feels like I'm lost. 
My Xbox is disconnected first, from the system. internet for over 24 hours. Let's get you out of those straps. We have to put you in something that girls can cosplay. I seriously think that that is sometimes... And it's... Tron. Damn. That glove over there? It's yours. I rescued it from your safe house, along with your fancy combat skin. Lucky thing they caught you on a day off. Fancy combat skin. Like I said, cosplay clothes. Now this... It's a hundred percent Nilin. Way above the model I used to use. Beyond me, sister. You're the only one who can use it. What did they do to you? Down there. In La Bastille. Unlike you, I had to stay for the whole program. Then how does he know who he is? Doesn't... Wasn't the whole point to well, wipe then, his memory? How does changed. he know who he is or who she is if his whole memory is wiped? Skin is in the locker. Your cosplay clothes, yes. Dun, 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 dun. That, that actually kind of is generally a, a funny point. Except we have no idea who the hell Johnny is. The bounty hunter? Is she dangerous? How does she know who the bounty hunter is? Not just to catch you. Typical brain rat. Barely outside and already working. Now that's branding. They put the sword on the blade. This is for you, David. And Goliath. Okay, so this is the part that actually makes this game unique. And I think this is where you guys will either say I really like this concept or say that that's just another tack on to do nothing. Um, so, as you guys have kind of stated, they stated a lot of these people are I hate load times the load times are, are, are pretty bad in this game but not without a cause um, the they, they can take people's memories they have obviously downloaded people's memories and, and they can copy them and, and you know, do whatever they want Nilin's ability seems to be the ability to not just copy them but rewrite them in people's brains so here we are tapping into Olga's memory and this is some time ago, uh, in her mind, about apparently three hours ago. And when we return Olga from, you know, Olga actually has a story. She has a personality. And this is called a memory transfusion. Uh, I guess it's something pretty standard for them, but it, it happens to do with, like, the brain rot that happens. Like, the, the Gollum characters, I think, is what happens here in this situation. This is for you, David. She's trying to give him some memories to stabilize his his mind. This memory transfusion has a good chance of healing your husband, Mrs. Sedova. Shared happy memories have an extremely positive impact on patients. The syndrome that your husband suffers from is a classic: excessive memorial deletions, acute dependency on stirring mnemonic triggers. Risk of so what we're doing is we're watching him try to save Lord. David. The inevitable shattering of his already fragmented personality. Here, these endorphins should lubricate the process and help ease his receptivity to the transfusion. See, his skin is blotchy, just like the little on, Golem Reaver us. Leaper things. Remember yourself. Oh, remember the us. Oil transfusion complete. 
<laughs> Don't worry. Olympia is the best hospital for the treatment of memorial afflictions. Everything will be all right. With time. Yes, of course. Ah, good. Your initial results are encouraging. We need to schedule more treatments. A great deal more. It's an extremely expensive process. Continue, Dr. Quaid. I can cover his treatment. Quaid! Sorry, Quaid is the guy, is the lead in the original... Uh, oh, this is the part. I don't want to screw with it. So you guys can kind of enjoy this part. I don't think I'm going to talk too much because it's kind of an interesting part. I don't want to mess with it. So I have to find the points where the, the glitches can happen. Uh, and then you just kind of return time, rewind time in order to do it. So you use the left joystick to kind of scroll through and look for the points where you can alter it. So this is the, the trial. So they're going to show you one aspect. And they make me... And here we are. So if I hold down... So I keep until the, and you'll see right there, there's an issue. And so I can press, I can deactivate something. Is the best hospital for the treatment and cause a glitch in the system. Afflictions. Now, is that enough is, is the question. That's what you're going to be asking yourself a lot during this aspect of the game. Is, is what I'm doing enough to cause this memory? Of course to trigger um, the way I okay. want it to trigger to solve the problem. Are encouraging. We need to schedule more treatments. A great deal more. It's an extremely expensive process. Continue, Dr. Quaid. I can cover his treatment. Okay, so now we're, re we're catching up back up to time. Um, didn't seem like that was enough. He was properly sedated, everything was right. It just wasn't enough. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find a way for to make Quaid kill David. In hopes of removing us from being the, the reason. So I can speed it up. And what I'm going to do is I, this will be undoing the, the glitch that I, I played with. And you'll see the little sections in the bars there. So that's being reattached now. Because that, that clearly wasn't enough. And so we've got another glitch, I think, coming up right there where I can invert the memory flux. Now that'll put her memory, his memory, back into her, but may not solve the problem. I mean, we're trying to get him to have issues. So I'm going to skip over that, and we're going to go to another section. I want you guys to play the game. So if you play the game, you guys can try it out and see what, you know, what tends to be. Oh, right. Okay, so we have something there. Ah, sorry, I'm trying to get the trolley to move. So we can move the trolley. And then we can keep moving backwards. And I'm sure, oh, that's right, I gotta go all the way back. I forgot about that part. Okay, so right there. I can freeze it. Ah, okay, so the capsule switch. Now, obviously, we use the endorphins to to correct a problem previously. So now we can Great use person. the endorphins to now I move this into the way. Short. The inevitable sh and that is a ping machine. I'm really not sure what it does. They never explain it, but. Just for the sake of it, we'll screw with it and see what happens. So you can already see the fluid that he's being injected with is not the same fluid. It's different. These endorphins should lubricate the process and help ease. And we passed up the inverted memory. Okay, so the fluid's kicking in. This is unusual. 
Doctor, what's wrong? He's a, he's a little flustered, that's all. Nothing to worry nope. about. Uh, go back. Peaceful memory. Now we can remove his anesthesia mask. That was one I missed on the way through. So Come his on, David. Remember anesthesia us. mask is a little weak. Yourself. Okay. What? We've got a potential to remove one more thing. Remember, he had problems. The, the Reavers were talking about flies. And now we remove that. To make him even more of a threat. But the the leapers, the leapers talked about flies constantly. This clearly is a big issue in their minds. He's turning into a leaper. So the table and the the ping machine had absolutely nothing to do. They did absolutely nothing in this instance, and they... But we succeeded in our mission. You don't have to get everything right, you just have to do the minimum requirements to get this guy dead. Or to finish your, your mission. I'm sure there's other stuff you could have done. I don't know what the memory flux would have done, or any of that other stuff would have done if you had done it right. But, that's why the game has a couple playthroughs. So now, she blames you for. I'm not here to take you in. And that rewrote her whole memory. You still plan to take down Memorize? Yes. Then we share the same enemy. Well, there's a turnaround. I Shh. Mean, a Shut up. Turn up. <laughs> stop. Everyone. Stop talking. I know Olga has her own reasons. Actually. Just the one reason. The great Olga Sadova siding with the Errorist Revolution. It must be something in the water. Last time I took you in, you were young and quick on your feet. And now she quits. Just because you're not on my list doesn't make us drinking buddies. <laughs> Don't sweat it. I'll cancel the romantic weekend for two. But Nilan has a rendezvous with high society. And the route is alive with surveillance. Have you got any ideas? Oh, I got better than ideas. Dun da 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 dun da 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 dun da 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 da. That's the Nilan I know. A magician. Nobody can turn heads quite like you. First you hit me. Then you ruin my little business. You want a love-hate relationship, you've got one. Okay, so you guys, you can probably hear the train a little bit in the background. That is not from the game, that is from my house. So, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Thanks. Live on the wrong side of the tracks. You haven't lost it, sweetheart. Edge was right to bet it all on you. Everybody's counting on you! Okay, and everyone, that is the end of episode one, and I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. I know this one was a little long, but hopefully you guys had fun, and you're more interested in this game now that you got to see a little bit more of it. Uh, if you want me to keep going, let me know. Uh, hopefully that was a fairly entertaining. I tried not to talk too much over it so you guys could get in with the story, but I obviously make my jokes and crack a lot as I can. Thank you for watching. I'm Spork Forever for Pickles in the Microwave, and I hope all you guys have a great day. Keep your minds tight, and uh, keep that thing out of the back of your skull. <laughs> have a good day, guys.